1,000 years of St. Lucian history. That's what awaits those who visit the now reopened Pigeon Island National Landmark Interpretation Centre. The centre, established in 1994 with the assistance from the Canadian International Development Agency, over the years has been a major attraction for visitors and locals alike. Dr. Christine Paris is the Deputy Chairperson of the Sinusha National Trust. There's a lot of history in this, in this new interpretation center, including history from the Amerindians, from the Europeans, and the freedom fighters. But there's also a lot more to be told, including Pigeon Island's role in World War II, and land-based whaling, and also the flamboyant character of, of Josette, Josette Amley. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, during his address at the reopening ceremony, noted the iconic status of Pigeon Island, its socio-economic benefit to the country, and most importantly, its role in defining St. Lucia and its people. This independence, I want the people of St. Lucia to know that the country's heritage is not a liability but an asset. It's not its credit card. It should not be seen as a crutch but a cradle of new opportunities. I thank the St. Lucia National Trust and its new director, Mrs. Janine Compton Anton, at this initiative to give rebirth to this interpretation center. It represents a small but important gesture in us rediscovering ourselves. It is an important part of ensuring that our youth have a better sense of self, a better sense of country. Patron of the National Trust, Dean Paulette Louisi, Governor General Emerita, echoed the sentiments of Prime Minister Pierre as she urged other agencies, parastatal and private, to join the National Trust in its mission. It tells a story of a part of our history that some of us uh, may have all but forgotten and, uh, and what too many of us have ne perhaps never even heard of. Um, this reinstatement is coming out at a time when there is a, a heightened interest in preserving our patrimony and uh, in many quarters, I mean, in quarters that we perhaps had never even, you know, realized. Um, and there's also the heightened concern that we might be losing some of our patrimony. And um, if, if we don't make the effort, you know, really to, to pass on our stories. Striking the balance between conservation and development is key for Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre. The National Trust and other heritage organizations, he says, are indispensable stakeholders in the national development process who will always have a seat at the decision table. The senior minister and his ministry took a significant step in redressing some of the issues that we would have liked to use that we inherited. We ensured that the solution, the beaches will continue to remain the property of the people of St. Lucia to be able to access at any time. Our beaches must be able to be accessed at any time. We are not anti-development, we are not anti-tourism, but the people of St. Lucia must never, never be seen as second-class citizens in their own country. Prime Minister Pierre also assured the management of the National Trust that government will increase the annual subvention to the organization once the fiscal situation of the country improves in order for the trust to continue its mandate. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.